Chang Dao in the distance, which I'm going to attempt to climb tomorrow. It's uh, 2,200 meters, and apparently you need a permit and guides and stuff, and I'm hoping that by getting up early enough at about 4-ish, that I'll be able to bypass any guards, I guess. We'll have to wait and see till the morning and see what happens. 30 in the morning. It's a fun time to get up. And I'm going to go attempt my hike. Awesome $2 nighttime driving goggles. Just call me Goggles Paisano. Anyone at the guard station, like I thought, and it's now 5.20. I'm at the beginning of the trailhead. And it poured and thunder rained all night, but now it's clear skies, as many stars as you can see. And I'll have sun in about an hour, and won't need my lights anymore. Hopefully we'll be able to see the trail properly. Well, I'm an hour in, and it's finally starting to get light out, so I can finally get rid of my light. And I can actually see where I'm going. The trail isn't particularly hard itself, except for the fact that it's covered in a mud slick, which is like walking on ice almost, and that's making uh, it particularly slow going. And it's also overgrown, so from all the rain last night, I'm also soaking wet. Uh, this is what I'm looking at right now, as I think I'm on the right trail. So it keeps going up and down, and I see peaks around me and not really sure which one I'm heading to. So uh, we'll just keep going and see where we end up because today was the first time in two days that I finally had dry shoes and socks. Well, that didn't work out so good for me as I'm covered in mud and soaking wet again. Crossroads, and just like in life, crossroads, you have to decide whether to go gibberish left or gibberish right. I'm going to go gibberish right. Brazil, I've got a pretty good looking valley below me, but uh, about to head into the Misty Mountains. And probably won't be able to see too much. Hopefully it'll burn off when I get to the top. If I get to the top. Of whatever top. Three hours. I made it to the summit. There's the sign. And I'm here at 2225 meters. And I'm hoping the mist will burn off. crackers and a Snickers. Well, I've been up here at the peak for an hour and a half, and it doesn't look like the weather's going to do much different than it is right now. So, I'm missing a spectacular view. And it's unfortunate, but there it goes. Clearer down below, but still clouded and fog up top. You get a bit of an idea of the kick out of view down the valley way. Limestone, sheer cliffs all around. Looks pretty good. The trip was five and a half hours, and unfortunately the weather didn't cooperate, but that's the end of Chang Dao.